Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're going to show you how to load and save Divi's layout packs. And they've got a total of 1829 layouts here and there's some great styles. You can do searches, just put in what you're looking for there and it'll come up with what you need. Or you can just check out the ones that you want to check. and get them that way. So let's start from scratch. I'll abandon this page and we'll start again. Okay, so let's add a new page. We'll give it a name. I'm going to take two or three of these templates and we'll put a little site together. So I'm going to call this first one Home. I'm going to use the Divi Builder. And I'm going to choose a pre-made layout. Hit the Browse Layouts button. And that will take us back to this page here. OK, just find what you want, either by checking it, doing a search. When you see something that you like, simply click on it. And it will give you the variations. We've got an About page, Blog page, Contact page, Home page, Landing page, Portfolio and Pricing. So let's have a look at the Home page. Just click on it. You can view a live demo by clicking on this button and this will take you to the Elegant Themes live version of this. If you're happy with what you see there, you can close it down. Let's go ahead and use this layout. We've got our check mark and here we are, we've got our page loaded. So there's our home page and these are all Divi modules. Once it's loaded, you're already in visual editor mode and you can go in. You don't even have to go into the modules for the titles and things like that. Type in what you want it to say. Things like buttons, you'd have to go in and put your links in there. And of course, you can go into each module, style it how you wish. Continue on down. You can go into the sections themselves change out your backgrounds if you want to. We've got a picture and a color blended with this and we've covered that in previous videos. So when you're happy, publish your page and exit the Visual Builder. So we've got a home page. Let's do exactly the same again. Let's create a new page. And let's do an about this time. Use the Divi Builder again. Browse the layouts. Now you can mix and match if you want to. I'm going to use the same one I like because it will be styled the same. Here's an about page. And again, you can preview it if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and use this layout. And here we go. And of course, you're going to want Put your details in there. And once you're happy, publish the page. And we'll grab a couple more. Then I'll show you how to put them all together in a menu and set the home page we loaded as the actual home page for the site. So we'll exit the Visual Builder. We'll grab a new page. services and again I'm going to use the same one choose the portfolio for our services for this one Great, well I'm just going to change this title up here to Services. I'm going to publish this page. And I'm just going to grab one more, perhaps a contact page. And let's exit the Visual Builder. And we'll quickly do one more new page. We'll make this contact.
Again, I'm going to browse the layouts. There's a contact page. And again, of course, you want to change it to what you want it to say. And with the form, of course, you're going to want to go and put your details there. For a form, it's very easy. Blue for a section, green tab for a row, dark tab for a module. Hit the cog to go inside. Edit the fields there. Of course, the important one is where you want the form sent. And that's under the email tab under the content there. Just put in the email address that you want your form to be sent to and save it. Simple as that. Okay, well, let's publish this page and I'll show you how to put them all together. So we've got them across the menu up here. And we want to set our new home page as our home page for the site. So let's exit the Visual Builder. If I click on this System 22, it's going to take us back to the home page that we had, which is my original one here. We don't want that. So let's go to our dashboard. going to go down to appearance and customize and this is common to most WordPress themes not just Divi hit the customize it'll take us to this page right here let's go down to where it says home page settings we want to make sure the check mark is set to a static page once we've done that we can choose the page and we wanted the home it looks like I've got a couple of home pages there make sure we get the right one yep that's the correct one that's now set as our home page if I go back to my open site here and click the logo to go back to the home page it should go to our new home page there we go now of course we want to set the other pages up here in our menu so again let's go to the dashboard I'm going to close out of our customizer here back to the dashboard down to appearance and menus and let's create a new menu up here you'll find create a new menu and let's just call it agency. Hit the create menu button. And there we go. We've got our agency menu created. So let's add the pages we want to add to it. So there's the four we've just added at the top there because they're the most recent. And we'll have that home page as well. Let's add these to the menu. And there they are. You can drag them, left click and hold. Left, let go of your left button when you've got it where you want it. And there we have it. If you want to put one as a sub menu item, just left click, pull it slightly to the right and it becomes a sub item. And you can see it says sub item there. But I'm happy to have mine all on the regular menu. Let's save the menu. It says it's been updated. And now let's put it as our primary menu. If I flick over here, this is the primary menu. You can add a secondary menu on top and we've covered that in other videos also. So let's set this to our primary menu in menu locations. Primary menu. We want to set that to our new one, which is called agency. Let's save our changes now. If we go back here and refresh, We should have our new menu here and presuming I've got the correct pages that I put there, we've got a couple of duplicates in this site, which should work perfectly. So let's go to the services. There we go, the services for that, about, and the contact. And you can go back to the home page by either hitting the home page or the logo. So that's how to easily put a, together a little multi-page site in no time at all. Like I say, you've just got to go in and edit these and put your details in there, which is really easy. So there you go, guys. There's a little overview of how to use a fantastic Divi template. And put a little site together really quickly. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.